I made a video uh, several years ago now where I changed the bulb in a microwave oven and that was a domestic microwave. Um, one of the questions that um, continues to be asked underneath that video is uh, what the procedure is to change a lamp in a commercial microwave oven. Um, and about three years ago uh, we got rid of that particular oven and, uh, and got this one which is a Buffalo uh, 1100 commercial microwave and uh, as it happens um, in the last couple of weeks the, uh, the lamp has blown in it so I thought I'd make a video about the changing of the lamp see what the, um, see what the similarities and, uh, and differences are. Obviously the first thing to do when uh, doing any work on an electrical appliance um, is to disconnect it from the main supply and it's worth bearing in mind that there may be components that hold a charge uh, even after the electricity has been disconnected. This particular microwave has got uh, five screws on the back and uh, one screw around the side of the case which hold it together. Um, so the first thing to do is to take those six screws out. And once they're removed it's simply a case of lifting the back edge of the case up and pulling it away from where it locates um, along the front edge above the door. You can then lift the case away and uh, access the inside. And that gives access to the top of the bulb which is sitting down um, behind the keypad area. I can uh, remove the uh, terminal block from there and uh, put that to one side um, and then lift away the lamp. There are some plastic tangs that uh, hold the lamp in position and they uh, may need pushing to one side uh, with a little screwdriver to get it out. So here's the lamp which uh, as you can see is um, well and truly blown the inside of it's gone black and uh, it's ready for replacement. What I did at this point was to look on uh, eBay and look at the numbers uh, which you can see on the bottom of the lamp here. There are different types which uh, are similar but um, not necessarily the same wattage um, or even voltage perhaps, I'm not sure. Um, so I made sure I got one that was exactly the same. It's then simply a case of, of putting the new bulb into the hole where the old one was and connecting up the terminals. You can see here that the new lamp isn't sitting properly in the lamp holder and that's because in this instance the holes in the new lamp uh, are slightly bigger than the ones in the old one. I don't know why that is. Um, the way I've got around that is to get a couple of small cable ties and uh, tie those around the plastic posts and, uh, and snip them off and that keeps the lamp sitting in place. Then it's a simple job of replacing the outside case, locating the uh, case on the top edge and then pivoting it down so that the, uh, the sides locate um, on either side of the bottom. Then obviously replace the, uh, the five screws in the back and the, uh, and the one around the side. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, it was pretty much the same as the uh, domestic microwave that I uh, looked at all those years ago. Uh, I imagine that most microwaves are, that are uh, if not the same, then uh, very similar to, uh, uh, to this. And uh, it's a case of uh, just taking the back off and, uh, and having a look. Hope you found that interesting. Uh, if you did, please uh, leave a comment below, uh, give me a thumbs up and, uh, and tick like. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again in a future video. Thanks very much. Bye bye.